Okay, good morning everyone. Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. It's a cold February morning. I don't know how many degrees below zero it is right now, but uh, we're doing okay. We're gonna make it through this. Today, it's my privilege to show you uh, this unit that just came in a couple of days ago. Um, it's toy hauler season, officially, right now. So that's why I picked this one in particular. This is a great fl uh, floor plan and toy hauler setup for you. I'm gonna explain some of the specifications on this and as to why it's so perfect fit for just about everybody. Okay, so this is a 21, 2021 Grand Design Momentum. It's model 21G. This has a lot of extra features on it over and above the standard build, which I'll explain to you. Let's talk about the specs just a little bit. Total length on this tip to tip is 26 foot 11 inches. That's important because you're not gonna have any restrictions in those 30 foot parks. So you can take this anywhere. Um, 101 inches wide, pretty typical of toy haulers in general, uh, trying to give you that eight foot interior space inside there. So the beds are a full queen size for the drop down in the back, queen size on the slide out up front, and then the dinette, which will also convert into a bed, is also a standard size. So that's gonna give you three actual uh, queen size beds in the 60 by 80. So uh, 12 foot one inch high, and this has a 3,600 pound payload. If you were to put in the full amount of water and travel with this thing, which would be 830 pounds based on a 100 gallon fresh storage, you're still going to be about 2,800 pounds of payload capacity, which is great for a trailer this size. Uh, you have 74 gallon gray capacity and 39 gallon black capacity. Those are also important because you can have some long stays off grid with this thing. So plenty of water, plenty of sleeping. It's legitimized itself as a fully self-contained unit because it does have the 4,000 watt generator on board. You may notice that we don't have the awning on this right now. We have the replacement. It'll probably go on tomorrow. So a brand new electric awning will be on this thing. So no worries there. One big feature on this, even though it's a small trailer, this has a 14 foot garage inside there. The previous owner, uh, he pulled his, or rather he hauled his uh, um, four seater razor in this thing and it fit just great. That's been a real issue with a lot of people um, that that four seater razor is 12 and a half feet long. So having some extra space right there, easy to drive in, get out of the thing, very important feature on this thing. So you're not gonna have any limitations, shouldn't have any limitations, depending on the uh, uh, equipment you're gonna haul in the back back there. All right, so uh, 30,000 BTU furnace, 15,000 AC, Again, that's the big one. Insulation is fantastic on this thing. It's got R40 in the floor and ceiling. And Grand Design, who makes this, they are uh, very proud of the fact that when they insulate this thing, they insulate that R40 all the way through the entire front cap right here. So extremely well insulated unit. It's R30 in the garage area back there. So it should stay nice and warm for you. All right, let's talk about a few things on this particular one. This was added on. This is a little combination lock for the outside storage right here. And this already has a lot of goodies in it. There's some hitch apparatus in here, which I'm gonna talk about after we do a walk around the outside. You've got your parking chocks, uh, your electric cord, tire covers, all the little accessories that go with it are already in here. And let's see, we do have a patio outlet outside. 
We do have cable TV outside as well, so you can have a television sitting out here on a small table if you so desire. It's got the aluminum steps, it's a triple step, and they went with a triple step on this because as you may notice, it's got excellent ground clearance on this thing. That's very important to a lot of people, especially where they want to take this thing. So taking a look at that, you can see that it's, it's really nice how everything is built up very high. The uh, aluminum steps never rust. They're very easy to manipulate and put back into position and pull out. A very lightweight. <laughs> the tires on this thing are the Goodyear Endurance. They're not the Chinese junk that you find on a lot of uh, trailers in general. These are fantastic tires. 87 mile per hour rated on those and uh, seven year warranty as I remember. They're uh, really fantastic tires right there. So they didn't cut corners on that. They put the best thing on they could. Okay. Obviously we have some outside speakers from the stereo. Those will play indoors, outdoors, or both at the same time. Now back here, talk about some of the extras that came on this trailer based on what would be the standard build. This has the full patio deck. So these will fold up into place and make a complete enclosure right here. And with the cable system that you see right there, that will hold this deck at the 180 degree plane. So it just extends your living space right there. The other thing that they added on this were the sliding doors, which are removable for loading and unloading. Uh, and those are uh, solid panels right there. So it want to stay warm or cool inside and still have your patio deck set up out here. You can certainly do it with this one. Great setup. Great setup. It's got everything you want, the patio deck and the solid doors going into the back. You also have a power awning covering up the patio back here as well. So this will have two power awnings on it. It's tough to put a ladder on toy haulers for obvious reasons. Normally they go on the back. Well, we can't have a ladder on the back deck right there. It's gonna interfere with setting this thing down. So they have a fold away or cantilevering ladder here on the side. So it compresses in close to the side, doesn't exceed your maximum width going down the road and very easy to operate, get up on the roof, do whatever you need to do up there. The fuel station on this is 30 gallons. I just noticed that it's got a half a tank of fuel right now, bonus. The generator will run off of this same fuel uh, cell back here. The generator under a full load is going to consume about six tenths of a gallon per hour. So you can kind of do the math right there. The generator will completely deplete this if turns out you want to do that, unlike a lot of RVs where it'll shut off at a quarter tank. So you've got the regular, I bet this is locked, no it's not, uh, you've got the regular gas pump right in here there's your fill inside lockable door so that can fill up your toys when you bring them outside over here very nice setup and this is just the override switch a second fuel gauge in here master shut off on that in that first compartment i showed you on the other side is where that uh, 30 foot electric cord is, which is gonna plug in over here and then go in at your campground. Remember, of course, this having the 4,000 watt generator on there, you certainly don't have to do this unless you know you want to park at a campground or something. I mentioned the 30,000 BTU furnace. Uh, this one has the uh, extra little screens on there, keep the mud daubers out, so you don't have some expensive repairs on your furnace later on down the road. You do have a six gallon gas electric water heater. And let's see, moving along, always watch out for the slide. I'm notorious for banging into these things. Over here is where our hookup is for uh, our water and, and the flush out for the black tank. Um, you've got another 
connector over here for uh, outside patio outlet and then hot and cold running water as well. This manifold system is very easy to use depending on what operation you want to do. Sanitize the system, fill the tank up if you're dry camping, if you want to winterize it or normal use would be city water. All your hose is going to come in from the bottom. There's a plug in there. So your hose comes in, connects, and you keep the door closed. Aesthetically looks nice. This over here is the generator that I've been making so much mention to. So it is a Onan 4000 encased, so it's nice and quiet. Uh, very easy to service where it sets right there. Okay, so this is kind of a biggie. I've made some mention to the accessories that were added onto this thing. This has this Pro Pride hitch. Pro Pride is uh, a division um, started by Jim Hensley. Many of you may know about the Hensley hitch how wonderful that was. Well, he sold out his company and he started this new one here, ProPride. He has made this hitch better than anything he's ever done in the past. What I love about this hitch, and I urge you to watch a video on this, just, just Google ProPride hitch and uh, you can watch a like a 12, 13 minute video. It's really wonderful. These hitches, have always been designed to reduce sway. Well, these guys now, on with the Pro Pride hitch here, they claim to eliminate sway. And that's a big word right there. After you watch that video that I mentioned, you'll be glad you have this. It's about a $3,500 to $4,000 feature that's on here already. So that's a huge advantage that you're gonna have towing this thing right here. Okay, so we've got the uh, dual 30 pound bottles and dual batteries on this already. And the one piece fiberglass front cap. Um, Grand Design builds a really nice front cap, very thick. And remember the insulation, R40 all the way down through the front there. So let's Let's come in the back and I'm gonna walk all the way to the front and just point out a few things that are specific to this floor plan, the 21G. My first observation on this is, this trailer is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Having this bedroom slide up here gives us lots of storage in the bedroom here. The built-in dresser across the back, closet over here on the side for ample hanging of clothing, and then access to the uh, bathroom from the bedroom or from the living area. So really nice setup. You're not gonna feel crammed in. Uh, you're gonna be able to make this bed because you can get around both sides of it. It's not crammed into the corner or a full size. So it's got a lot of nice things going for it that people want. All right, so the bathroom area here, you've got really nice size shower for a small trailer. And if you look down below, those are the extra legs and tables that I'll mention where they go when we work our way back to the back back there. Skylight in the bath. Gives us light in, natural light in here all the time. And a porcelain toilet. So another nice upgraded feature on this one. Okay. So in the living area here, uh, they have a fairly large TV. Looks to me like, I think that's a 28. Just throwing a number out there. Not quite as big as a 32, so I think that's a 28 that they've got right there. In addition to that, 
Um, you've got all the books and manuals on this thing to show you how everything works, which of course we're going to do too the day you pick this up. Uh, generator stop and start. Currently the generator has 120 hours on it. So that's been, uh, that hasn't been sitting around for a long time gumming up the fuel or anything else. That, they've used this thing and it's still considered low hours for this. So that's really nice. The reason you have two awning switches, as you remember, got the patio awning and the rear awning on the uh, patio deck. Other than that, pretty simple. Uh, there's a power bed lift, which we're gonna look at here in a sec. And uh, you've got ceiling lights, gas or electric feature on your water heater, uh, exterior lighting, awning light. You, so you can flood the outside of this thing with light late at night. All right. Let's see, there's the stereo I was talking about that plays indoors or out. And then a little extra stuff down here. Uh, the guy's got his uh, uh, filters all ready to go for the next oil change coming up on the generator. And this owner added this track up here in the front. Now, my understanding is he did that because when he gets that big four-seater razor in here, um, it comes up pretty far this way. So in order to tie it down on the sides right here, he had to reach underneath the thing and fiddle around and try and get those things in place. By adding this setup right here, he's able to anchor that much easier. So just a nice little touch that somebody's already done for you. Okay, six cubic foot refrigerator, actual oven and stove, and then microwave up above that. So we call that a full kitchen. It's got it all going on there. The, I saw this first with, uh, with Jayco a few years ago, and I just love this. It's, you know, it's probably a $15 item, but it's just brilliant. So this top right here is called a drying rack. So you can still run water through it. You can wash your hands. You can do whatever you want. This thing will roll up, be put away in the drawer if you're not using it. But if you're going to wash some dishes, you just set them down and let them dry and drip through. Got a sprayer set up on there. And as you notice, that's the farmhouse style sink with no center divider. So you can actually put some things in there. Nice deep drawers, plenty of room for your silverware, utensils, pots and pan drawer down below. And this is enormous, enormous area in here. I may consider putting some shelves in there if it were mine, but you know, your storage is just so good on this thing. You may not need to do that. All right, so looking good. Now, this area here is wide open right now because we've got those two freestanding chairs that will set up over here. One thing I like about RVs is that they have thought ahead and they've made their floor plan conducive to the way people intend to use this thing. A big window on the patio side is the way you wanna go. If the galley was over here, obviously we have a little tiny window that we'd be looking out. This is where all the action is. This is where everybody's outside, enjoying themselves, having fun. So having the big window right here, in my opinion, is the way to go. Now, when you're traveling and you got your toy in here, those chairs will just set on the bed and travel right there. Works great. This system right here is really fantastic. So I mentioned the power bed lift. That will bring this bed down to about this level right here. You know, about belt line, if you will. Um, I'm sorry, I take that back. That's going to be a little bit higher on this one. This is actually going to come down to a oh, your bread basket area right here. You can pin that up the way it is right now and leave that in place so you can use the side seating. This side seating folds down out of the way, obviously, so you can get your toy in here, but also sets up to a dinette. 
and the dinette has a big table right here between the two. If you're not using it as a dinette, then of course you can fold the top halves over and make another bed down here. Hence the three queen size beds that I mentioned. So six people can comfortably be in this thing all the time. Really, really nice in that regard. So I use my feet. I don't know that my feet are exactly a foot long, probably pretty close. They claim a 14 foot garage here. I did not put a tape to it, but when I paste it off, uh, I came up with 13 and a half. Still plenty of room for that 12 and a half foot four seater razor. Uh, my guess is they probably know what they're talking about. It probably is 14 foot. I have seen in the past on some toy haulers, adding this option right here has actually encroached, encroached the space a little bit right here. You know, where your dovetail comes down. So maybe I'm actually a little bit closer now because this option was added on here. Nonetheless, be it 13 and a half, 14, still plenty of room for the most popular ATV out there, that four seater razor. So that's a big deal. All right. Um, I think I've pretty well covered it. Um, once again, Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We just got this in, it's gonna go fast. Please give me a call. Let me give you whatever more information I can on this. Um, first come, first serve. I've only got one of these and it's a good one. It's really, really nice. So thanks again for tuning in uh, on this cold day. Hopefully you're nice and warm today. I will uh, see you in two weeks. Thank you.